Beautiful. Good morning, everybody, and welcome to the Cup of the Joe, Joe morning, morning Show. With Graham. That's right, folks. It's the host of the Cup of Joe Morning Show with Graham. I'm your host. Graham Connor, the host of the Cup of Joe Morning Show with Graham. Joe, how's it going, man? I'm doing well. How are you doing? Man, I'm doing fantastic. Folks, we are gathered here this morning, all right, in the Huntsville First United Methodist Historical Room. And a lot of people are wondering, hey, why are y'all in here? Because it's important. It's old. We need to know where we came from. And on top of that, we feel like this is our time to put in our application for the Cup of Joe Morning Show signature picture, which will be dropped right here. Here. Well, I think here. Oh, here. It'll be right here. Um, TJ, go ahead and drop that graphic right here. But we're going to drop that, okay? Because we feel like we deserve to be in the historic room. Why do we deserve it? Because our views are better, all right? Um, I mean, I don't know how many people were attending back in, uh, you know, the 1800s, but I mean, our videos are in the 400. It's pretty good. So, Joe, we were just going to tell our kids a little bit about the history of this room. Do you want to start? Yeah, let's start with this. This is a Bible. It is a Bible. It doesn't have a date on it. Quite frankly, it's old. And we're scared to touch it. Uh, it's open. from, like, the 1700s. We'll just say that. Yeah, we're going to say it's from the 1700s. Speaking of the 1700s, that's probably the birth date of our founding pastor, Thomas Stringfold. This guy's life was tough. It was hard being a United Methodist pastor. What was it called? United Methodist? Uh, they were called the Circuit Riders. Circuit Riders. He rode a horse. He probably... Did he have a wife? Did they get married back then? I don't think that was a problem. But he looks terrifying. And if he would preach, me, preach the gospel to me... I believe it. Absolutely. So that's what we got. We got Thomas. He was our founding father uh, of this church. Absolutely. Coming up next, we have John B. McFerrin. Now, this individual is obviously the first cousin directly related to Abraham Lincoln. There's not much to say about him other than he looks identical. And quite frankly, I would not be surprised. Um, I'm not a conspiracy theorist. But... Just so y'all know, TJ's eating a cinnamon roll right now that he made. Yeah, one of the weirdest things I've ever been in contact with occurred just before we kicked off recording of this episode is TJ brought his dinner up of orange rolls and uh, deviled, deviled eggs. eggs. Can't say devil in those. Either way, it's, it's the most bizarre room. thing I've ever heard in my entire life. Who eats that for dinner when you're surrounded by fast food locations? Like TJ's. <laughs> you're bizarre, man. Coming up third, this one is actually near and dear to my heart. Mr. Reverend Billy York. A lot of people don't know this, but this was my father's mentor in ministry. Uh, the fact that his photo is in black and white just shows you how old my dad actually is. Uh, Joe, what else you got, man? And we have the most current Methodist pastor that we have on our list who is on the wall of history. Mm. Glenn D. Connor. What does D stand for? Uh, Davis. Davis Connor. Uh, uh, he has hair in this picture. He looks really snazzy. How old is he? Ah, uh, 58. Um, look at those glasses there. They're killer. Harry Potter looking son of a gun. Um, so now that we told you a little bit about the history, it's time to transition into our uh, just kind of annual programming. I mean weekly programming. <sighs> What's the weather like this week, Joe? Beautiful. Are you coming to my kid's birthday party? No. All right. That's <laughs> um, on top of that, folks, I feel like we've made a lot of really strong points. Our views are up. We've got tons of internet clout. Um, our show is downright hysterical, and quite frankly, looking at these pictures, there's not a lot of smiles. So I don't think any of these people on the wall are funny. It's time to get some humor up in here into the historical room. Hey, come Sunday night, we're going to talk about icebergs, 6 to 7.30. It's great. Yeah, anything else on top of that? I mean, it's getting pretty close to Thanksgiving, so that's going to be pretty sweet. Joe, do you have any uh, wise words for our students this week? Listen I, to your parents. I, I've got some wise words. <laughs> of course you do. All right. Real eyes. Real eyes. Real lies. Think about it. What does that even mean? Think about it. I'm not. Think about no. it. No. Think about it. Hey, shout out next week. We're probably going to have uh, some special guests. Quite frankly, we don't ever plan the show in advance, so I have no idea what Joe's even talking about. But that's going to do it this week, folks, on the, the, Cup, the Joe Morning Show.
little mustard on it. A little conniving, a little devil egg, even son of a gun. 